There's nothing you can do about it. There's always something that can be done, baby. Sometimes you just have to think really, really hard. So everybody think. Any, anyone got something? You got something? Hello, E, what a pleasant pick-me-up start to my morning. Yeah, blow me too, Ari. Woo, sugar mouth. All the blood just rushed to my power source. What's up? Jesse, how have you been? I've been... Great, I'm back, and you're fired. Ask me who I'm fucking. Come on, who am I fucking? Wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it, boom! Look at the ass of my next door neighbor. You see that? Four kids. I love you, Dana. And if I ever cheat on my wife, it will be you I'm fucking. <laughs> I look forward to it. OK, what do you want? I want to be under you. Dana, I told you, my wife's in the car. <laughs> Very funny. Is this some sort of cruel prank to stick it to me because I cannot deal with a revenge fuck right now? Well, maybe I can. Did I tell anyone that your first girl girl sex is with someone from Must TV in 95? OK, Ari, please. Spill it. I'll swallow a cyanide tablet if they capture me. I will be on the ground in LA in 90 minutes. In 90 minutes, you could be back blowing hack writers just to get them to meet you to have a cup of coffee, Dana. Wake the fuck up! Confucius, com, Confucius say, I go. You, you don't have to say anything. You know why? Because you pick up all your stuff because you're motherfucking fired. And the town will know that anyone meeting with you, speaking with you, or even nodding to you on the street will be dead as well. So die, Lloyd. Die, die, die. And when you're gagging on Davy's ball, I want you to bite down so he can die too. If I could gouge out Terrence McEwick's eyeballs and eat them for what he did to me, I would. Everything all right? It's called aging, Terrence. Not everyone can stay young by sucking the blood of their employees. I know karate. I know, I saw you kicking that little red-headed boy over there when he wasn't looking. That wasn't very... Ah. Ah. No way is my son going to that school. No way! I was at the bookstore, I got some great ones for Jonah. James the Giant Peach, One Fish, Two Fish, and everyone poops. Do you think that's gonna put a smile on his face? What did you want me to say? That I have a huge ward on my cock that needs removal would have been better. Wake the fuck up, Lloyd. It's your lucky day. How so? I'm only gonna make you lose 10 pounds. I'm down six pounds. Wow. Does it show? Yes, Lloyd, you're half the man you used to be and you were only half a man when you started, so bravo. So you come to me for advice. I'm gonna fucking cry. No, you little garlic not making motherfucker. It's like high school, E. You can't fuck the prom queen until she finds out her best friend jerked you off underneath the bleachers. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you're just so fucking calm, so poised. It makes me want to smack you. Compliment bar mitzvahs in ballroom three, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I, I knew it. I looked desperate. They gave me a holding deal. The guy who grills my hot dog at Carney's had a holding deal in 1978. Are you suicidal? No. Any thoughts of suicide? Uh, no. Well, you look like you've been crying. Fuck you. Fuck you! Josh Weinstein. Fuck you! Fuck you! That's awful. You rep Mark Cherry for a decade, and it was a decade that he lived at home with his mom, and I know that as soon as Desperate Housewives hit number one, he left you for that schmuck over at William Morris. You stick with me, and I swear to you, no one will leave you again. We were the same. Rising stars, both made lots of money, both got tons of pussy. What happened? We both married too young. Right here, where we at? Right there. Miss has got a problem, baby. I took it an hour ago, okay? I got 10 more minutes before it kicks in. You're full of shit. Uh, I was full of shit when I told you I had a condom at Live Aid. This, <laughs> on my children's names, is real. Did you want me to lie? That is the beauty of Yom Kippur. As long as you apologize by sundown, doesn't matter what you do. Maybe I want to hear it. Uh, can we do it after? I can't focus. I still have blue balls from this morning. Tell me that I would be pretty. As pretty as the day I left the show. Well, you left the show when you were 25, and now they shoot everything in high def. I'll be fine. I'll give her a scoop. Oh, you got one? Yeah, I'm going to tell her that you blew Mickey Rooney and gargled with it. She'll love it. Congrats again, Babs. You nasty twat. I can't make any promises. I can't make any promises. Lloyd! Get my car, have it washed. Go get my dry cleaning, bring it to my house, clean up all the dog shit and my neighbors. Don't you ever question my word again. Or I'm going to be checking all of you for a pulse and not finding one. Ari, are you going somewhere? Yes, I am, Babs. I'm going to the happiest place on Earth, Disneyland. What's the problem? Where do you think you're going? I 
They just flew in a liver. I got to do the transplant. Where do you think I'm going? It's amazing. I didn't realize that when I became king of Hollywood, it meant that I would have to do everyone else's job for them. Baby, don't worry. I will save the day as usual. Help is on the way. Just give me the details. Listen, take a deep breath and relax. It's all going to be fine. How? Because the Jew has arrived and he doesn't like Germans. Now, where do I find him? Are you threatening me? If you consider me telling you that, you'll be lucky to get a Der Wiener Schnitzel commercial in this country. If you don't go back to work, then, yeah, it's a fucking threat. <laughs> Good luck, Ari. Suck it, E. Spent the night in jail. Oh, my God. Ari, why didn't you call me? Because you get one call and I wanted to use it on someone I'd like to have sex with. Ari. Now, how about a quick blowjob before my Vince dinner? <sighs> what? Just relax. It's Hollywood, baby. Everyone's straight sometimes. Yeah? Is your wife? That's the mother of my kids, Eric. Don't be an asshole. TV department? I don't give a fuck about the TV department. All I care about is who convinced my wife to go to a restaurant she hates. Well, if I'm so old and ugly, why do you even care? Well, some guys are into that. I mean, just rocks and dust and trees and tiny little goblins. You got what do you got? Come on, come on. Show me a little love, a little love, a little love. What do you think? Fuck! Steph, tell Ryan the reason I don't have time to play poker is because I spend my life in here being bored to death by you people. Good news, Ari? Don't ask questions, Lloyd, not until you stop dressing like Paula Poundstone. You guys ever hear of a hanging Chad? Where the fuck am I? Listen, I'm calling to tell you that I blame you for every bad thing that's ever happened to Vince and every bad thing that ever could happen to him for the rest of his life. You're the unfucking lucky charm. You hear me? You should never utter the words, I found a good script, because you have no idea what a good fucking script looks like. Live with that. So don't waste my fucking time with the possibility that maybe Ed Norton might read or may not read some fucking script that may or may not be good because some half-ass agent who couldn't carry my sperm sample likes it. This town loves a comeback, and since Britney fucked hers up, it's all you. Reach for the stars, baby. Yeah, you know it. Yeah. I wanna know.